In today's video, we're going to talk about understanding toothaches, the basics of brushing and natural toothache remedies, also we will talk about causes of toothaches, do you struggle with toothaches, how was your experience, let us know in the comment below and subscribe to our channel. Understanding Toothaches As we all know, toothaches are the result of several different factors. The pain that stems from a toothache is always apparent, normally in the form of throbbing. The pain will normally intensify as time goes by, when you eat, lay down, or drink hot, cold liquids. Toothaches are very painful, and it may seem that no matter what you do, it seems to hurt more. Sometimes, toothaches can result from medical conditions and have nothing to do with dental. In most cases, if the problem goes without being checked, it can lead to serious trouble and maybe even become a life-threatening situation. Normally, when you have a toothache, you'll experience tremendous pain. The pain will stem from the affected tooth or the jaw, and you'll know it almost immediately. It will start out to be a throbbing pain, then continue to get worse and worse until you get it treated. If you wait too long and allow the infection to spread throughout the tooth, you'll end up having to get it pulled or cut out. Anytime you start to experience a toothache, you shouldn't hesitate to make an appointment with your dentist to have it checked. Even though you may be able to use certain products to stop the pain, the pain will always come back until you get the problem fixed. If you visit your dentist in time and he catches the problem early, he may be able to save your tooth. Normally, this will result in a filling, crown, or root canal, although you won't have to have the tooth removed. Dentists always look to save teeth, as they don't like to remove a tooth unless they absolutely have to. If the tooth has become obsessed, the dentist will put you on antibiotics such as penicillin until the infection has subsided enough to remove the tooth. Throughout our lives, most of us will experience the pain and agony of a toothache at some point. A toothache can be the worst pain you have ever felt in your life, especially if you are feeling the pain of an abscess. If you've never had a toothache, you should consider yourself lucky. Those who have had toothaches though. The basics of brushing brushing and flossing are something we all learn at an early age. The proper way to brush your teeth takes less than two minutes most adults tend to spend less than a minute, which isn't enough. To get the right amount of time brushing, you should try using a stopwatch while you brush. When you brush your teeth, you should avoid using pressure but instead use short, gentle strokes. You should focus on hard-to-reach places, and make sure that you get the areas between your teeth as well. Make sure you get eating surfaces, along with your upper and lower gums. If you focus on all areas of your mouth, you'll get everything when you brush. Furthermore, we'll also need to use the right toothpaste as well. There are a variety of toothpastes available, designed to help you with a variety of different conditions. You can get toothpaste that will prevent toothaches, stop sensitivity, and prevent things such as tartar and gingivitis. Toothpaste is the best way to protect your teeth, Therefore you should always ask your dentist what type of toothpaste he recommends for you. To get the most out of brushing, you'll need to have a good toothbrush. There are many different models to choose from. When you make your choice, you should look for brushes that have soft bristles. Soft bristles are easy on your gums, removing plaque and other debris from your teeth. A small head is also preferred, as it can easily reach hard to get places, such as your back teeth. You should also remember to replace your brush every couple of months, or when it starts to show signs of wear. If you've had a cold you should replace your toothbrush, simply because the bristles can contain germs that could get you sick all over again. Toothbrushes that show wear should always be replaced, as they can have an impact on your gums. If the bristles start to get worn down, they can tear away at your gums, leading to sensitivity. Brushing your teeth will help keep them healthy, and prevent the buildup of plaque and tartar. Natural toothache remedies Several herbs can be used in the relief of toothache pain. Natural herbs such as cloves, calendula, tarragon, and yarrow can be used to help relieve the pain until you can get to the dentist. For many years, different cultures have counted on herbs to help get the pain of a toothache control and get temporary relief. Native Americans for example, used the inner bark found in the butternut tree to their gums to get relief from toothaches. The butternut tree is found in North America, and is also the cousin of the black walnut tree. Butternut trees are found along rivers in well-drained soil, rich woods, and even in backyards. 
Once the tree matures, it can reach heights of up to 60 feet, with the bark being light gray in color, and the leaves and the fruit resembling the black walnut tree. The bark of the tree can be applied to the gums, helping to alleviate toothache pain. Yarrow on the other hand, can be found in Asia, Europe, and North America. It normally grows wild in meadows, fields, and in open woodlands. The root of yarrow is what contains the anesthetic effect. If you apply the fresh root of yarrow to your tooth or gums, it will help to stop the pain, until you can get an appointment with the dentist and get it taken care of. The herb known as clove is an evergreen tree, native to tropical areas. These days however, it can be found throughout the world. As many already know, the dried flower bud of clove is what contains the medicine. The oil from clove, when used on a toothache, will help to stop the pain almost immediately. If you compare cloves to other natural toothache remedies, you'll find clove to be the best. The next time you experience the pain of a toothache, you should always remember that herbs are a great way to relieve the pain. Causes of toothaches There are many different things that can cause a toothache. A toothache can come at any given time. The pain can be unbearable at times, and you'll do practically anything you can to make the pain stop. When a toothache first comes on, many of us start to wonder what caused it to happen. Some of the main causes of toothaches include decay, a fracture in the teeth, and cavities. A crack in the tooth is also a cause, although it can be difficult to diagnose, as cracks will normally appear to be invisible to the naked eye and x-rays. Cracks can make your tooth feel as if it is exploding, as they expose the dentin and nerves to the air and anything else you put in your mouth. If you don't get them fixed, they will get worse, possibly leading to your tooth breaking off at the gums. Pulp irritation is another cause of toothaches, as it occurs after dental treatment. No matter how well your filling or crown was done, the materials that were used to fix the tooth can end up causing pain later on down the road. There really is nothing you can do, as crowns can sometimes come off or the filling can sometimes come out. If this happens, all you can really do is go back to the dentist to get the problem fixed. If you have an exposed root or nerve, it can also be the cause of your toothache. This normally happens due to rough brushing, receding the gums and exposing the root. If the root is exposed, the air or liquid you drink can trigger a toothache. To prevent this from happening, use care when you brush and never try to tear your gums apart thinking it will get your teeth cleaner. If you use tobacco products, you'll more than likely get toothaches on a frequent basis. Chewing tobacco is a common contributor to toothaches and tooth pain, as the tobacco will eat away at your teeth until there is nothing left. It doesn't take long for it to happen either, especially if you have been chewing for a long time. Smoking can trigger toothaches as well, as the smoke is bad for your teeth and eats away at them as well. Even though there are many causes to toothaches, there are things you can do to stop in pain and prevent toothaches. You should always brush your teeth on a daily basis, and go to the dentist for your regular checkups. If you get a toothache you should always go to the dentist and get the tooth fixed. The dentist may be able to catch it early enough to save the tooth, which will prevent you from having to get it pulled and save you a lot of money and pain in the long run. And that's it for today everyone. Hope you learned a lot about toothache and remedies to help cure it. See you guys tomorrow with another exciting health tip video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant updates on our videos.